Live! Didn't that used to be a kids' TV show? The hills are alive. Look, guys. With the sound of music. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> That was one of my presents to Mark. Isn't it a great t-shirt? That's so well thought out, because I love that kind of graphic stuff. I'm gonna flick the light on so we get a bit of, we can really show my ex more off. Let's really show the flare. Let's show the nostril flare. Let's show the flare. Oh. What's it going on? I don't know. Is it broken? No. Oh no, yes. Oi! Hi guys. Yeah, now we're warm, like we're in a sunny sort of beachside restaurant with a glass of like drink of and a pair of blue little fingers ready to pick things up with. Um, how are we all, guys? Evening, Sky Elise. Evening, Nicola Randall. Ray Ray here. Louise Bell. Hello. Rachel we're doing Louise. this a bit earlier because we're doing the undoing later and we'll be doing a live review after it. And also, we thought everyone might be itching a bit to talk about what happened with Boris. What are we going to do? I feel really excited and really hopeful about the future today. That's good. I think every little thing is going to be all right. I think your capacity to break into song da, 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 with every da, development da, in this lockdown da. almost deserves some kind of award. <laughs> I mean, when we've been down, you've sung. Look, Ashley, Ashley said to me... Whatever anyone tells you now, to keep on singing. Ellery Jones, my eczema is sore tonight. Look, I also going back oh, yeah, to puberty. I'll put some Look, I've got I've got spots coming as well. Finally, got a night shift, Velvet. Oh god, that. Oh. No, rub it in. Okay. It will really help. Do you know what? I'm going to say something now. I feel quite positive as well. Oh my! Be afraid. Be very, Mark. Very afraid. Wow, breaking Mark news, Mark is feeling positive. But it's, it's, it's rapidly dissipating. Oh. No, no, it's not. Um, I think Boris has given us hope. How are you all feeling about it, guys? Lockdown is definitely lifted, because I know... Yeah, but we're saying this like this is news. Lots of people were worried that lockdown was going to stay. They I were I never not. thought it was going to be. No, but you're not lots of people, are you? No, 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 I know, but I just think there well, was lots a... of people genuinely thought, because they kept saying the numbers weren't good enough, that we might stay in lockdown. Shops and bars and restaurants and pubs wouldn't be able to open, and people were really worried about it. Well, no, it. but the reason I knew it couldn't happen was basically because of the because Tories. Because of the law. No, because of the Tories. Because it was the, the law. The, because of the Tories. It was the law. Because of the Tories. Even if they wanted to extend it. Anyway, it seems to have done its job. And we are going back into tears. We've talked, I've said the word tears so many times. Claire Ross Reed isn't feeling positive at all. Oh, why not? Let's go back and let's go and find you. Claire Ross, share with us. Why don't you? Uh, I'm not feeling positive. Tell us a bit, give us a bit more meat on the bones. Bethany Foden, I work in a restaurant in Yorkshire. Apparently if we're in tier three, we still can't open. So oh. I still, yeah. Now here's the thing. Let's moderate this, this glee and this excitement. Well, could we just have one minute? No, no, no. Just out of... This is the problem. We're about no, to go I back into gleeful. one of the problems no, of the No, but what tears. I feel gleeful about is the vaccine and that we are going to be through this in spring. Oh, yeah. That's absolutely. what I'm gleeful about. Yeah, what I'm not... I, I think what's going to be difficult for many people is going to be the sort of... Not unfair, because no one's done it on purpose, but the in inequality of progress in different regions. You mm. know, certain regions are going to feel like, why the hell are we in lockdown for longer? Mm. You know, it's not... It's like, it's interesting. Someone said the other day... You know, the idea that this disease observes our rates yeah. based upon counties and regions of a country as tiny as England yeah. is ludicrous. So really, you need to look at the R rate of the country. The idea that you can sort of localise it really efficiently is a bit, is a bit not But not they real. do say that the tier system was working. Well, it is, yeah, it is a bit. But I mean, I think the problem I is mean, that everywhere seems to need to go through tier three at some point. I mean, they just can't wing, can they? Because people don't want lockdowns because yeah. it's well, ruining businesses. And yet people are also very scared about it, raging again for the January and going to another lockdown. I mean, South they are Trish says, what, what about us, us shielding? Um, I mean, you know, you've got some little fillips in there, haven't you, towards things like... I think apparently there's going to be... You're going to be allowed to have 4,000 uh, fans allowed to a sporting event... Oh. Well, if, if there, if if the sporting event is occurring in a location where the tier is in tier one, I believe. Um, yeah. I'd like to know what the rules are for theatres. Still, I, I'd like to well, know. Well, the theatres—they said there won't be any theatre this year. 
Right. Well, there so you there's go. not going to be any. So tier one is going to be medium, following the rule of six, if meeting indoors or outdoors, pubs and restaurants to shut at 11 p.m. So this is the lowest tier oh, we can God. be in. Oh, God. I thought that so was going to be tier still two. still the rule of six. So, so this is the most lenient. This is the best you can get. Mm. Pubs and restaurants. Okay, follow the rule of six if meeting indoors or outdoors, but you can meet indoors with six. Oh, okay. People encouraged to minimise travel and work from home where possible. Sports. <laughs> work from home where yeah, possible. Yes. Spectators <laughs> allowed at sports <laughs> events and live performances, limited numbers. Live performances? So there you go, that, that must include some capacity. Hairdressing allowed? Hairdressing allowed, which is great because I'm going to go to my guys straight away and I'm going to have it all shaved off. Tier two, which is what we were in, wasn't it, before we went into lockdown? No household. No, we'd been moved into tier three just before we went into lockdown. No, we hadn't. No, yeah. we were, no, we hadn't. We were in tier two. Honestly, we were in tier two. Um, no household mixing indoors. Rule of six applies outdoors. Oh, that'll be us, I think. Al yeah, I think so. Alcohol only served as part of substantial meal. Spectators allowed at sports events and live performances. L limited numbers. Tier three. Now, Doc Boris also said today that a lot of places are, in the very short term, going to enter yeah, Jane Oxley, a, a more severe tier. And Jane more Oxley than... says we were in tier two, so yeah, it's yeah. true. And, and there's going to be more areas in tier three. Yeah, more areas in tier three. So in the rule of six applies in outdoor public places like parks, no household mixing indoors or outdoors, and hospitality venues or private applies. gardens. So, in, in, so if tier three applies to London from Thursday, we won't be able to go and meet People in restaurants and pubs, uh, indoor entertainment venues closed, guidance against travelling in and out of the area, but hairdressing is allowed. So whatever happens, hairdressers are open. Pubs and restaurants closed. Except for delivery and takeaway. Oh, but hairdressers must be running around curling like mad. Because whatever tier they're in, they're okay. Whatever tier you're in, hairdressers, you're back in, you're back in the game. It's almost like they've just decided what keeps people sane. Give them alcohol and let them have their, let them have their hair mm. done. So tier four is lockdown. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, so fans are going to be is allowed to... Is it a tier to... four? I don't think so. I think that's just lockdown. Uh, people will once again be able to enjoy playing outdoor sports such as football, golf and tennis in a social setting. Maximum of 2,000 fans will be allowed in tier two areas. That's kind of good. Um, Swale. Where's Swale? Coronavirus rules are being willfully disregarded in the North Kent area of Swale. Really? The borough currently has the highest infection rate in England with oh 631 God. cases. But per 100,000? Yeah, leader of Swale Borough Council. Swale? Council. What so, are you up to? What's going on in Swale? What, sw we've never heard of Swale and now yeah. it's behaving very Andrew badly. Andrew Scott Clark, Public Health Director at Kent County Council, said the virus is chiefly spreading in the community with infections right... What the hell's going on in Swale? Does anyone know anyone who lives in Swale? Ah, with infections rising among households whose members cannot work from home. So it's mm. not people's fault. Yeah. Um, it's people having to go to work. It's probably lots of teachers. Meanwhile, up in Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon has said there's unlikely to be any relaxation of COVID for Hogmanay. The First Minister said progress was being made in UK-wide talks to allow a small number of households to meet for Christmas. Look at that picture. But the sacrifice is going to be for Hogmanay. Um, and British Airways is literally selling off the family china. The cash-strapped airline began selling thousands of items of surplus stock from champagne flutes and drinks really? trolleys to bone china butter dishes. Really? Where? The terribly sad thing is they'll be worth something one day. But where are they? I wouldn't mind a butter Where are they selling? I think go ones. online. I think they're... Uh, I, think they're I, think, I think you get it. So how does that leave everyone feeling? It feels a bit wrong buying the stuff, though, doesn't it, as the company collapses it's and horrible. people lose their yeah, job? Yeah. Um, did you ever upload the videos of Mark reacting to his birthday video? No, that will be coming in a vlog. It will be coming down the way. Mm -hmm. Thanet is bad too. My mother-in-law is there. It's is the it? night shift. It's the night shift. Show your top. Smart top. Have you got a smart top on? I've your got an inside-out sweatshirt Frost. on. Oh, do that again. You can't see what's going on down there. Um, so are we allowed to do Christmas but not... What was that? It's you just, just so looked funny at me. The way you, you just looked at me like Judy. You just no, did no, a Judy you're just so Finnegan. funny the way when you say something you think's funny, you go, you breathe in to let everyone laugh. Why do you try and characterise <laughs> me as a total cock? Well, when you're being a bit rich. I wasn't being cock then, you were being Judy. I like Judy. You were being very. You like Richard. I do. But not when he's being a cock with Judy. And I don't like Judy when she's being a miserable <laughs> old cow. <laughs> um, Clodagh Egan. 
What did you have to say just there? You just flew up. Thanks, Maria H. Now singing Night Shift. <laughs> um, Claire Ross Reed, here we go. It, it's just a worry being a nurse, but on a personal level, I still can't work or drive until I have a neurology appointment. Oh, due to yeah. The backlog, uh, that, of that, it's so hard. A friend of mine's really, really ill at the moment. And yeah. um, they said, Oh, we can't give you even an appointment for six weeks. And he said, Oh, he's desperate. He said, Oh, I'll have to pay. And she goes, OK, appointment on Monday. Wow. It's just shocking, isn't it? Yeah. Well, just read what Ellen Brennan says. Helen Brennan. Uh, Mark, you talk more sense than the whole of the government. There you go. You do, don't yeah. West Yorkshire is bad, says Simply Shaz. Why? In what way? What, bad? Uh, in terms of COVID, presumably. Leicester is a flaming nightmare, Dawny Harvey. Salsa Trish, what's on your T-shirt? I'll show you. Oh, look, as a Canadian with family in the UK, how confused you, you must all be. Most complicated system and not particularly effective from what I hear. God, it's ludicrously complicated. In, out, in, out, we shake it all about. We do, do the, the okie gokey and, and we turn around. around. That's, That's what, what it's all, all about. about. Oh, 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 do the hokey COVID. Oh, the hokey COVID. Oh, the hokey COVID. <laughs> oh, we do the hokey COVID. <laughs> tier three, tier two, ow, ow, ow. There you go. Um, it's a little riff on the on the... It's kind of anti-mask, this, isn't it? It's like saying, I'm smiling with my chest. I knew you'd like that. Yeah, I really like this. Um, have you seen Miley Cyrus has uh, been talking about how she fell off the wagon in lockdown? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, let me just find the story. Um, I didn't know she was in recovery. I didn't know she was in recovery either. Uh, how do you spell her name? Miley yeah, Cyrus Alcohol. Let's see if that does the job. Uh... She's taking a break from weed, alcohol and washing her hair. She was sober for two weeks and then... Um, two weeks? Sorry, sorry. She was sober for six weeks. And then... No, for six months, sorry. But apparently it just came up on the e-entertainment news alert that we get on our computer that she's admitted that she fell off the wagon she's during so lockdown. Gorgeous. I think an awful lot of people who are... That's... Um, that's a dolphin that just passed there. We have dolphins here. Did you know that? Yeah. They wear black hoodies. They're really cool dolphins, though, aren't they? They play oh, really good music. Frost. They've got brilliant Spotify playlists. They're great, the dolphins that live here. Um, oh, lovely to have you, Caitlin F. She's been ages since she's been able to join her live. Oh, oh Caitlin, Welcome, Caitlin yeah. Caitlin F. Oh, also lovely to see our chat on the vlog tonight. I know, Herbie, wasn't it? Herbie, Herbie was looking around when he... Herbie, right, let's do it now. Let's do it now. So Hang much. on, is he there? Herbie. 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 If you want to know what the hell we're talking about, Caitlin's beautiful dog that Nadia thought was cross-eyed, uh, but it had. it's just got the most beautifully blue eyes. Caitlin was one of ears. the competition winners yeah. of the book, and we had a nice long chat with her on Skype because we couldn't get to her mm. because of... Blaming COVID. God blimey, look, there's a lobbyist. Seema Hussain, Mark, please join the government because you make more sense than the thicket. <laughs> I used to belong to the Labour Party and then I didn't. Um, oh, an early night shift, Chris Gullick. Yeah, Nat Natalia Maz, you've got to do your song and dance. Natalia Maz, Natalia Maz. I'm going to do a little round of applause. Natalia Maz, Natalia Maz. I don't think it's Mars, it's Maz. Natalia Maz, Natalia Maz. Huh? Maz, you're sort of saying Mars. Yeah, because I'm... Natalia, is it Natalia Maz? You're interpret... Natalia okay. Maz. Interpret... Natalia Maz. Natalia Maz. Welcome <laughs> the to hands Natalia. aren't strong enough to... Oh, look. Just look, Lewis Craig are. is obviously getting a bit jealous. He's just joined. Lewis Craig, Lewis Craig, licka ticka ticka ticka, Lewis Craig, licka ticka ticka ticka, licka ticka, licka ticka ticka ticka, Lewis Craig, welcome, Alice Jackson, Alice Jackson, coming down the way, coming down the way, Alice Jackson, Alice Jackson, come to us. You will be forthwith entertained with gusto and vim and vigor and meaning. I don't know what she said, but it means the world to all of us. So there you go. Welcome. Welcome, members. <laughs> Head on over to see the Sunday show. I have to say, I really enjoyed my book this week that I reviewed, Station Eleven. Check it out. If you are worried about this pandemic, read that book. It'll make you feel fine, because there's a far worse one in that book. <laughs> 
Mark, I seem to be not a family guest anymore, and the link won't let me join again. Can oh, you help Judith Huey no drop Michelle a, a, a note? And if Michelle's in fine fettle, she'll try and give you some fine help. Fine fettle, fine fettle, fine fettle. fettle. Fine um, fettle fine. These things do happen. I don't quite understand. You might need to uh, ask for help from YouTube. Sorry, there's a dolphin. Just come into the room again. Yeah. Dolphin. <laughs> Is that a dolphin? What is that? Do a dolphin sound. Is it true that dolphins like sex with humans? I've heard this. I've heard this. There were signs all over New York. Does anyone know if that's true? Yeah, apparently they're quite randy. Randy dolphins. Why was there no pop-up for this live, says Vicky Vicky. There was a pop-up. There was a pop-up. It was Anchorman. Oh, I've got a really sore throat. Um, a galloping dolphin. I'm exactly, Emma. Absolutely right. Yeah, Vicky Vicky. Promise you there was. Promise you. Promise you. Promise you. Uh, Natasha Milchin, I don't want to know. I know what you mean. I don't want to know either. How the chuff would anyone know that? It's a curious one. It's a curious one. Seema I mean, Hussein, that's very nice. Hello, everyone, she says. Seema Hussein, who has just joined you, will not be bored. Louise rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling. We rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Welcome, Louise, Louise. Rollins. Uh, we showed, we showed, obviously, Nadia made the wonderful film that you're going to see. It's on Gabby Roos's YouTube, so she's showing it there. But we'll, we'll, film my, we'll show my reaction to it. It was very funny when you played the film to the family. And you could see Maddie and Kiki were in hysterics, but at the same time, they realised that this is what the world sees of us. I know. It was a bit, of a, it was a, bit of a moment for them, wasn't it? Yeah. I think, I think whatever... Illusion of decorum they thought we had just it's gone, just vaporized. Jenny Matthews says, Can we have the ginger men dancing this Christmas? I love them. Do you like the ginger men? Well, maybe we could do the ginger men and add something. I think we should do our own ginger men dance. Ginger men, gingerbread men. Gingerbread men. Just on that note, I had the most amazing film made by Maddie for my birthday, and my eyeballs nearly exploded out of the front of my head. So good. I mean, quite literally, I was so overwhelmed and fraught with emotion. He was crying like this. My eyeballs were bleeding. Mm. And I know that when they didn't bleed enough, I thought Maddie sort of said, oh, they could bleed a bit more, actually. <laughs> oh, it's 25 years today since Toy Story was first released. Ellie Pickard. 25 years today? Are you sure? I'm sure it was out before... Uh, I'm sure it was out when... Uh, oh, was it 95? Yeah. Was it well, 95? Hang on. How old's Finley? I used to watch well, it. Well, no, I'm Finley. just thinking how old's... Izzy, oh, but I'm... I suppose Izzy's yeah. first Christmas, she got a Buzz Lightyear and she loved it. And she was only... So, yeah, that could be about right. Are they nice, James Flanagan? James Flanagan's had the oldie mince pies. James Flanagan, you've James gone ahead. James Flanagan. You've gone, on a, you've gone on a tangent. You've gone and had an oldie mince pie before we've had an oldie mince pie and told you whether you should have an oldie mince pie with our mince pie have you ever review. Had an oldie mince pie? Yes, we did last year. How are we going to... I get really OCD and male about this. How are we going to corral all the mince South pies Africa. into one fixed place right. so we can do them? If we are allowed visitors in the garden... Which we'll find out on Thursday. We will get a heater and Ooh. we will do a proper testing. Oh, what? Six people in yeah. the garden, socially yeah. distanced, with a, with a bake-off with tent. Mince pie, with a bake-off tent. We've got a gazebo from when we used to then, do the Nigel Slater stuff. Then, um, if we can't do that, we're in Tier 3, we will get Lisa from her house, Dina from hers... Maybe we'll even get mum involved. My mum would be good on so a mince a pie So a four-way Zoom mince pie yeah. taste. Or, or get your mum and dad in. That's good. We could get Nan in. Exactly. We could have all of us. You could see all of us just eating stolen mince pies. A lot of people want us to test crackers. Crackers? Hmm. It was no, suggested. sausage rolls. We haven't yet got, I haven't yet gone through, but I saw crackers. a couple of the comments. You must go to the community crackers. page, Nads, and see the various suggestions. One of them is a particularly risque thing for you. What is it? I can't say it because we have a dolphin in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a dolphin sound. Party food. Now, this is a good one, party food. Right. Because a lot of it is shit and you don't want to waste your money. Years ago, we did a quite extensive testing. Right. I think I did it for a newspaper. And you won't believe what came up tops. You will not believe. Guess. Guess. What came up as top party nibbles? Um, 
Volvo, salmon volivon. No. No, uh, what, which supermarket? Oh, which super, say that again. Which supermarket came top with their... Mm. It's Tesco's. No. Why did you say it so emphatically? You just don't be silly. You don't know anything about Tesco's. I know so much more than you think I know. Yes, Claire Ross Reed. It was Iceland. Everyone's saying Iceland. They do the best party in Well, years ago when I tasted it. Obviously, we're going to have to test them all. Look, Katie Wilson, again. can't wait for Vlogmas. I'm re watching old ones until next Aww. week. So, you do realise we've got a dolphin behind the camera this year. They're going to be filming us, making complete tits of ourselves. I would start watching the Vlogmas because yeah. we are doing a quiz next Saturday. Ah. And I think we should take some questions. Yeah, from the we've Vlogmas. already got some questions that have been kindly sent in, but we could yeah. do some more questions, couldn't we? I think, look Look at the number of people watching. I think most people are watching I'm a Celeb. That's right. Prawn Ring, happen. Susie Othman. That's outrageous Prawn behavior. Ring Yourself. You shouldn't be saying that sort of stuff. <laughs> Prawn Ring Yourself. I'm only joking. Um, I hate Iceland, Jackie Villain. I must admit, whenever I walk past oh, Iceland, I don't got, want to go in. Somebody's got, uh, is doing a oh, marathon. Hey, Mark and Nadia, I did this, Kerry Hanley. I did my marathon at the weekend. Do you remember me saying you'd yes. inspired me two years ago? I did it in four hours, 39 minutes. Bloody wow! Four hours, 39 minutes. minutes. That is bloody good. Oh, that's that is amazing, bloody good as well. Kerry. Bloody hell. Well that's done. That's it. Stacey Star 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 has sent 10 Vlogmas questions. Ah, um, thank you, Stacey. We've got the. I've got your email from Michelle. You've in sent our 10 inbox. Vlogmas ones, and have others, you? And others. And others. It will get sent... us in the Christmas mood. And others. It'll get, not only get us in the Christmas mood, it'll, get me in, it'll give me Christmas cheer. It'll give... Am I... You're going to be cheery. I might not be do a we bar. Need a Who's going to be the bar humbug this year? What do you think would be the best time to do a quiz on Saturday night? Just stay still. Stay still. Don't mark. No, no, no. Stay still. Don't. Yeah. If you pull hairs out of moles, you get bad moles. That is not true. No, I don't want it done. It, with that. it needs no, to be done mark. with small blue hands. I don't want it done. Little rubber blue hands. What? It's hands. gonna hurt. You're not supposed to pull hairs out of a mole. It's dangerous. Um, 8 p.m. Skylies. What's that? But is is Blimmin' Celebrity Jungle on then? When? Where? Oh, Sorry. I see. When, when we do it. Not a quiz. That means only one thing, says Dawny Harvey, with an emoji six times of a bottle of champagne. That means Nadia's going to be absolutely rat -assed. Look at that. Elsa Pop. Last year's Vlogmas was so funny when Teddy was off his tits on oxygen. Oh, God, do you remember that one? You rang him. Was that last year? Yeah. Was that last that year? That was. Susie Ockham. Maybe we should have some highlights brought in from last year's one. Top highlights. Moments highlights. Into some of the Vlogmas. Yeah, we're thinking of doing... We're also thinking of doing a Christmas story where we read a Christmas story, aren't we? We're thinking of, of doing something like that. But we're not too sure because Nadia's nodding and I don't know whether she's... You're doing your weird, creepy thing. I'm not. I'm right. not. I'm just trying to work out... You're doing We're your turning thing. into that couple on... You're doing that Nazi. You're doing you know, that you? That's what you have. And Teresa you stare at love my the... ear and it's weird. No, I'm staring at the hair coming no, out of No, leave. Mole. You are not pulling it out. It with looks fucking... like a witch's mole. Mark, it's very, very annoying. I'm going to put my mask on. I can't bear this anymore. <laughs> Literally can't bear it. I don't want my mouth to be seen anymore. Jenny Matthews wants to see my Christmas village. I've been wanting to see it for years. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going to do it? I think we should do it on there, Mark. Take all the recipe books off. I think you should shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of your Oh, even the voice. dolphin's bloody laughing now around the corner. Oh, 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 I can't oh. hear a thing now. I've put this on my face. I can't Dawny see Harvey thing. says, like everyone wouldn't play the quiz above the celeb oh. anyway. Hey? Well, that's only because you guys love us. Yeah, exactly. Most people hate us. <laughs> <laughs> Most people think we're really fucking irritating. Uh, Favourite Christmas treats are chocolate chip, chocolate chips, raisins and nuts. What, chips chocolate as in... Chocolate chips? Chocolate chips. Who's a fan of the chocolate finger? I love them, dipped in tea. I like to get them just the amount of time in tea. So then you go, and you suck the chocolate off. I was talking, about, that. I was talking about the thing that happens when you go out. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Chocolate, are they the chocolate fingers that, that they're really horrible? They, what the hell was that? That's a dolphin getting out of the bath. Was it a dolphin getting no, out of the bath? No, it was mad, it was the toilet seat. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> Dolphins, they don't know how to use toilet seats. It's very hard being able to put them down again. Katie Travers likes chocolate fingers. I don't Simply like them. Shaz likes a chocolate orange. I love a chocolate orange. White chocolate fingers. Can somebody Bridget get me Smith. a chocolate orange, please? Can you get me a chocolate orange? Oh, look, orange England's please? latest coronavirus hotspots revealed. Should we just see before we head off to see the undoing? Let's have a quick look. Uh, so, uh, Kent, obviously, Kent is, is, is a real problem. Oh, Hull, awesome. Swale, Thanet, Dudley. Swale? I mean, Swale. Who knew Swale was like the, the 
The seat of yeah. rebellion. Ten places with the lowest. Suffolk. Suffolk is the place not to suddenly evacuate to, no. but it's the place to be. Well, where's London? Cornwall. London is nowhere. But we're not in no, the these top. Are, so they're in the lowest. These the are the ten rates. highest. We're not in the top ten. And we're not in the top ten and we're not in the ten top ten lowest. No, but that's not the top ten lowest. Stoke-on-Trent. Dudley. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Burnham, Hartley, Paul. Avril so, basically, Connection. we should read them all out. Hull, Swell, Fanny, Fanny. East, Go. East Lindsay, Dudley, Stoke-on-Trent, Hindburn, Hartlepool, Boston, Sandwell. They're, They're all the, the top highest ten. rates. Highest the rates. lowest areas. Tendring. Where's that? Don't know. Huntingdonshire, South Hams, Isle of Wight, Cornwall and Isle of Sis, Scilly, North Norfolk, East Suffolk, West Suffolk. Tenbridge and Mid Suffolk. Tenbridge. And so Suffolk's very low, and Cornwall, we're rather pleased because it's like our sort of home from home. I want to go to Cornwall on New Year. Yeah. I, don't, I, I, I want oh, you to go to Cornwall on New Year too. I really do. I really want you to go. Could you go now? Anyway, guys, we're going to go and watch The Undoing. It's, I, I keep hearing it's a good one. Thanks, We're going to do Eni. a live review straight yeah, after. It's going to so be a live us. review, so there'll be more stupidity after that. Um, and welcome to all our new family guests. Hi, Richard welcome. Kavanagh. Yeah, welcome when you to go all to the you. family guest area, there are about 45 Sunday shows for yeah. you to watch. And lots of members' and lives of stupidity and idiocy. On Wednesday, we do a members' live every Wednesday, just with, um, yeah, our guys there. And we also do, once a week, reading out comments. Yes, which we're so, going to be putting up tomorrow at some point. Yeah. Um, anyway, guys, lots of love. Stay safe. Yeah. Uh, we're going to know what the hell's going on on Thursday, so we'll have clearer optics on just how fun your vlogmas will be. All right, guys. Lots see you later. Love. Well, see you in about an hour. All right, huh. bye.